have to get our jobs back. I know! Danger! Shelter. The Thunderman's Return, a brand new full-length film based on the popular series that aired on Nickelodeon for four seasons, has been given the go-ahead by the network. A new trailer for the film was also released, and I'll tell you, there are a lot of details in there that you probably missed. In 2016, The Thunderman's took home the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award for Favorite TV Show. The show, which lasted four seasons from 2013 to 2018, captured viewers' hearts with its endearing idea, humorous spy kids-esque graphics, and entertaining superhero sequences. The Thunderman's Return, a follow-up film to the beloved show, is set to be released in time to lift the spirits of those suffering from the yearly exam blues. Let's bring the thunder. Thus opens the official trailer for Nickelodeon's critically acclaimed live-action superhero comedy series, The Thunderman's Return, which will be continued in a feature-length film. We're going to high school? We get to be around other teenagers. And get a well-rounded education? The teaser for The Thunderman's Return gives fans a nostalgic look at the family's upcoming adventures. Along with their parents, Hank and Barb, siblings Nora, Billy, and Chloe, and their twins, Max and Phoebe, are heading their T-Force and living the life of a superhero. However, the T-Force gets disbanded and sent back to Hiddenville after one save goes wrong. But before we dive into the trailer, let's go back to the original series and see where they left off. The aftermath of The Thunderman's secret being revealed opens the next season. The Hero League exiles the Thundermans from Hiddenville, but after Max and Phoebe give their lives to defend their city, they are permitted to return. Cherry is the only one who knows that the Thundermans still possess their powers, but the Hero League helps things return to normal by convincing the people of Hiddenville that they've lost their powers. The Thunder Twins are selected for a chance to become members of the Illustrious Z-Force, an elite group of superheroes in recognition of their heroic deeds. As they prepare to join the Z-Force, Phoebe and Max develop their teamwork skills over the course of the season. Phoebe needs more time though to completely believe that Max has turned from wicked to good. She also starts to act bossy because she thinks she is a greater superhero than Max. She once absorbs Dark Mayhem's abilities to foil an old practical joke of Max's because she doesn't have much faith in him. Sadly, the powers turn her wicked and Max must save her once and for all. As all of this is going on, Dr. Colosso feels abandoned by Max and even despises him for changing for the better. Allison ends her relationship with Max. This Max, season, Nora and Billy also begin their superhero training. T stands for Thundermans, and the Thunder Twins tell the President Kickbutt that Z-Force is going to be renamed T-Force as they head out on their first mission together. Before they go save the world, Phoebe alters the family portrait to feature them dressed as superheroes as the episode comes to a close. It goes without saying that they were all ecstatic when Nickelodeon revealed back in March that it was bringing our beloved superhero family back to television. First things first, though. The trailer for the reunion Union film reveals that the Thunderman's original cast will be back together, as the story will pick up several years later as the superhero family carries on their attempt to lead normal suburban lives. The show's extremely gifted original cast members have donned their costumes and will reprise their cherished roles in the upcoming film. The film's extremely gifted original cast members will have donned their costumes and will reprise their cherished roles in the upcoming film. Returning as Phoebe is Kira, alongside Jacko Griffo as Max, Addison as Nora, Diego as Billy, Maya as Chloe, Chris Tallman as Hank, and Rosa as Barb. The family will have to relocate from their new metropolis when they are abruptly deprived of their duty and brought back to Hindville. <laughs> According to the official synopsis of Thunderman's Return, which was also made public by Paramount Plus, the family's parents, Hank and Barb, are happy about this choice and are excited to be going back to the town where they have lived since hanging up their cape. In other news, Phoebe and Max, the twins, are trying to become superheroes again. Billy and Nora begin high school and Chloe meets new friends. We also know from the teaser that the film will include both new enemies and well-known settings and 
and the video indicates that one of the things they will need to deal with is the meteor shower that is approaching Earth. Is this a new villain's creation or a natural disaster? All of us recall that Dr. Colosso, a former supervillain who was changed into a rabbit, lives in Max's underground hideout and gives him advice on how to turn into a villain. He is now shown to be having the time of his life in Max's bedroom in the trailer for Thunder Man's return. Thus, I believe he will help Max and the family once more, hopefully, but this time he will give them instructions on how to stop the threat that Dark Mayhem is posing now that he seems to have recovered his abilities. We're back in Hiddenville, baby! Thunderbab! Reunion selfie! Oh. There's also a moment in the trailer where Max and Phoebe are taken prisoner by Dark Mayhem. Using a video, he informs them that this is going to be their torture session and requests their confirmation to proceed. Nothing changes even after they say no. These little aspects make me think of the film Saw. In the event that they are unable to go or that no one discovers them quickly, I believe that we may witness some sort of mental torture and games until no one returns. However, given our knowledge of the series, we are also confident that the Thunder family will band together and stop Dark Mayhem before it's too late. Following the trailer, there is a very brief scene with an evil squirrel that blows fire. Is it a dragon squirrel or some kind of mutant? Is it gonna cause difficulties for the family? Perhaps this is a moment where Dr. Colossal will take part. Sure, we know it helped Max become a villain, but it's been a long time since that happened. Hi, Sophie. Judging by his funny looks in the trailer, we do hope he is on the good side now. A fight scene between a rabbit and a squirrel? That would be something to watch. The superhero's new suits are something else we noticed in the teaser. In the show, Max may be seen wearing black pants over a super suit, while Billy, like his father Hank, is also seen wearing underwear over his costume. Like their mother, Nora is donning a skirt over their outfit. Over her long leg jeans, Jeans, Phoebe is dressed in a pair of short shorts. Having said that, you can tell they are not only older, but also that their suits have become more sophisticated, giving the impression that you can treat them with a little more seriousness as they are shown in the teaser striking what appears to be a heroic attitude. Now, you know what I mean. Max is no longer wearing the black pants over the suit. Instead, he is matching with the rest of their family, and the suits have been reinforced with padding, implying that these people will be facing more action-packed scenes in this movie. The new suit features thick padding in the areas that support the chest, shoulders, elbows, and kneecaps. As previously mentioned, it appears that they are taking a different approach with a darker tone. The one thing we didn't like from the trailer was the special effects. Motion capture is used to create the whole CGI world in movies, or CGI is combined with real-world effects in other cases. Filmmaking can be greatly simplified by CGI. CGI, which eliminates the need to be in specific locations with a green screen that can be used and cuts down on labor hours by substituting hand-painted animations with CGI. Afraid the T-Force must be fired. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But the over-reliance on computer graphics hasn't always been beneficial and has destroyed many excellent films, sometimes even for a single scene. Because of this, fans who watched the trailer were let down because, to put it mildly, the CGI effects were not that good. In my opinion, the film's special effects could have been improved upon, but that's just my opinion. The Thunderman's return will be available on Paramount Plus starting on March 7th, 2024. The trailer gives us a glimpse of the superhero family's adventures, which now seems nostalgic and silly, but once thrilled us to no end. The movie aims to maintain the show's look and feel. Not only do the themes and execution stay the same, but so do the majority of the crew working behind the camera and the cast. This is not surprising to many fans because the cast of the show is well known for their close Bond. In spite of the fact that the show is ending, they have remained close over the years. Perhaps more Thunderman projects will be forthcoming. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.